So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to use layer blending modes and adjustment layers. So um, first of all, an adjustment layer is uh, anything, it's these non-destructive layers that are at the bottom of the layer palette. They're under the half black, half white circle. I like to call it the little cookie because it reminds me of those black and white cookies that you can get in New York City at a deli. And um, so I click on here and I have all these different options and I can do things to adjust how my picture looks. Like I can adjust the brightness and contrast. I can adjust something like levels. Uh, we'll talk more about this in a different video, but I can make it darker. I can make my shadows darker. I can make my shadows lighter. I can make my highlights darker, my highlights lighter, all that kind of thing, right? And the great thing is this is non-destructive. So it has not changed the original pixels that are on my background layer. It is just layered on top. So an adjustment layer, a non-destructive adjustment layer um, that you get to down here does not change the original pixels. It just kind of lays on top. There are ways to do uh, adjustment layers that are destructive. So don't do them. I'm not even gonna show you how. Just use the little cookie a little black and white cookie, the half black, half white circle at the bottom of the layer palette. Um, another thing, so if I wanna get rid of that, I can just throw it out. Uh, another one that you can use is black and white. So if I have a picture and I wanna make it black and white, it will make everything that is underneath that adjustment layer, adjustment layers always affect the layers that are underneath and make it black and white. Now, if I wanted to do a hand color effect, I would make some, uh, I would take a picture that was color, I would add a black and white layer, and then I would add empty layers on top. So again, you can do that down here with the plus, or you can do it under layer, new layer at the top of the um, menu bar. And on this empty layer, I could say, you know, paint this green. I'm gonna do a terrible job because I wanna do it very quickly just to show you, and you may say, but that looks terrible. Now I can't see the little wall underneath. Why would you make it look like that? Well, because I can change the layer blending mode. I can tell Photoshop, hey, take this layer one, let's call it our green layer, and blend it with the layer, all the layers underneath, our black and white layer and our background layer. And where layer blending modes are is here at the top of the layer palette. So instead of normal, I could set this to multiply or I could set it to darker color or lighten or screen. These are all different ways that you can blend this green layer with all the layers that are underneath. And it's just kind of nice. You can just roll through and see how they look. So I'm gonna set that to color. And then on another layer, let me paint the road a color. I know this is super sloppy, but again, I'm trying to make this video not too long. Let's make it purple. All of the purple road. So now again, on a separate layer, let's just pre-call it purple so we know what it is and we don't get confused. And I'm going to paint. And you might say, hey, but I can't see any of the detail of the picture that's underneath but we are going to change the layer blending mode. So we are gonna say, hey, Photoshop, we wanna blend this purple layer with the layers underneath uh, as a multiply, right? Now, I just wanna revisit really quickly what happens with an adjustment layer um, if you have things not in the right order. So here I have this purple layer. I know my black and white layer affects all the layers underneath. If my purple layer is underneath my black and white layer, it becomes black and white. It's still there, it still exists, right? It's just that it's under the black and white layer. So if I make the black and white layer invisible, we see that that's still there. So you have to make sure if you're doing some kind of hand coloring and using layer blending modes, but you've made a picture black and white, you need to make sure that all those empty layers that you're painting on are above the black and white layer. If you have any questions, please let me know.